First tonight at 530, new information on the suspect in the murder of John Jack Fay, a jogger whose body was found in Warwick City Park. Although Michael Soares had never been previously arrested, police say they did have numerous interactions with him. And tonight we're learning more about those interactions. I would assume reporter Kim Kalunian joins us now live in studio with the new details. Kim? Well, Mike and Caroline, Warwick police tell me they interacted with Soares seven times between 2009 and 2013. The vast majority of those were the same year that Faye was found dead. And while police logs provided to us shed some light on most of those incidents, police tell me they are withholding information about two that happened near the time of Faye's murder. 33-year-old Michael Soares charged in the 2013 killing of John Jack Fay, linked to the crime through DNA evidence investigators say they found at the scene and on Fay's body. Warwick police tell us though Soares had no criminal history, they did interact with him multiple times while he was homeless. Police logs obtained by Eyewitness News shed some light on that time and show police were contacted about Soares both before and after the alleged crime. One of those calls came in April 2013, the month before for Faye's death when Soares was found sleeping in his car. In other cases, police were called for reports of Soares walking into people's driveways, through the woods, loitering at the public library, and even allegedly stealing a bicycle. No charges were pressed. Police tell us these types of interactions are commonplace with homeless individuals and raised no red flags at the time. After 2013, Warwick police say they had no further contact with Soares, and Cranston police tell us they had three interactions with him in 2014, which resulted in him being banned from the Cranston Public Library. While Warwick police tell us there were likely even more interactions with sores that didn't get logged, they are also withholding information on two additional incidents. They tell us those reports are from around the time of Faye's death and are related to their investigation. And today, a judge ruled Soares competent to stand trial. He is due back in court for a bail hearing on April 2nd. Live in studio, I'm Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.